In today's video, we're going to look at subtracting single digits using Zeus on the loose. We are going to show you a few mental math strategies that we use for subtraction as well as different ways to play Zeus on the loose for kids in every level of math. As in the original version of the game, the object is still to win the Zeus figurine over the course of rounds. But now we climb down Mount Olympus by subtracting the card number starting from 100. Each player has their four cards in hand and plays a card into the discard pile that they deduct from the current Mount Olympus total. As in the previous game, you get to grab the Zeus figure if you reach a multiple of 10 you play a Greek god card with a special ability, or you manage a sneak peek to match an identical number card on top of the discard pile. Four. Each <sighs> round ends when Mount Olympus reaches zero or the draw power runs out, and you win the game by being the first player to win four rounds. So far, everything is pretty much the same. I'm Leanne, and I help parents have fun while they teach their kids the skills that they need. So, if this is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. Make sure to stay till the end where I'll be sharing how we can include both addition and subtraction in each game of Zeus on the Loose we play. We've shared all the reasons that you should get Zeus on the Loose in our previous version of this game. Be sure to check it out after this video or in the links below. Now, one of my gripes about this game, if you remember, was that there were very few opportunities for subtraction. The game lends itself to lots of addition, but there are only a few opportunities for subtraction, namely when we use the Poseidon card to subtract 10. So this variation I'm sharing today helps to balance it out since now there's mostly subtraction going on. The easiest way to play subtraction Zeus on the loose for the very young is to use a hundred chart. I have so much fun. You gotta say. Yeah. 48 to drop 5 is 43. Using a marker okay. or a small toy from your player, you essentially count down and move from 100. On your 100 chart, you can also make visual marks of the multiples of 10 where players can grab Zeus. This will help kids understand we are now going down Mount Olympus and going down the numbers. Another way to modify is then to switch the 100 chart with our favourite learning abacus. Switching to the abacus in this way will encourage players to try different ways to regroup the numbers on the cards played, since it is very likely that they will not always be able to use number bonds of 10 to make a straightforward subtraction from a multiple of 10. Instead, each time they subtract their number card, they activate their mental math supersizing skills and number bonds to know at a glance how many beads are available in a row and then how many more are needed from the one below to make the value on their card. My next modification is having them keep a running score of where we are on Mount Olympus on a pad of paper. Starting with 100 at the top, we write it down as we climb down the abacus as well. At this stage, it is possible that players are still very reliant on the manipulatives we are using to help them. From here, we do away with writing down the subtrahend altogether. And we simply notate the difference as we go along. 86 subtract 5 is 81. Correct. Players can then use one of a few mental math subtraction strategies to help them. Firstly, they can regroup Mount Olympus into tens and ones and determine if their number card is less than the ones on Mount Olympus. If so, do a quick calculation. 90 subtract 3. 90 subtract 3 is... I, I know, 87. Correct. If Mount Olympus is at 49 and the card played is 3, we can regroup 49 to 4 tens and 9 ones. We know from mental math supertizing strategies that 9 is 5 and 4, and we can use another mental math strategy to subtract consecutive numbers, which we know will result in 1. Again, with previous mental math strategies, 5 and 1 is 6, and regrouped with 4 tens will give us 46. 
If the minimum is larger than the number played, a larger regrouping might be required. Say for example that Mount Olympus is at 44 and the card value is 8. So we will regroup 44 to be 30 and 14. Remembering that 14 is 10 and 4, we know from our number bonds that 8 will need 2 more to make 10 and 2 with 4 will make 6. Pair that with 30 and the result is 36. This variation is a full-on mental math challenge. So while our players are still mastering mental math subtraction, we should let them check back on the abacus or on the 100 chart after they've made their own attempts. Now here's my very last modification. In the original game rules, players continue rounds of Zeus on the loose till someone wins four rounds to spell Z-E-U-S. One quick and simple way to balance out the addition and subtraction in this game is to play it up and down Mount Olympus. After all, what goes up must come down. That's it. Two ways to play Zeus on the loose, either with a subtraction focus with lots of support for our learners, or a balance of both addition and subtraction for more adept players. Make sure to check out the video on outnumbered improbable heroes in the links below or at the end of this video. And I can't wait to see you in a future one. Yeah.